to my channel so today's video is going to be on the look that i'm wearing right now i completely pulled complete inspiration from Alyssa marie artistry on instagram this is the picture that i got inspired by i love the colors that she used in this look and i loved how she just basically put glitter on in the inner corner like if it was blowing out towards the end of her eye so i completely completely got inspired by her um the glitter that i did use was a little bit more of a copper pink color she did use like a more iridescent glitter and i think a copper color as well i can't really tell in the picture but i completely loved how the look turned out and i'm definitely challenging myself and stepping out of my comfort zone this year so this is my first attempt and i'm really happy with the way that it turned out so if you would like to see how i created this look then just keep on watching so jumping into the 39A palette and taking the shade Sunder on a fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to buff that all throughout my crease, making sure that it's very, very blown out. This is the first shade, so I always like for it to be very, very diffused. And then I'm going to be jumping into Vivid, which is a more orange shade, focusing this all throughout the crease, mostly in the inner and outer corner, because I want it to be very, very orange in there. And then next, I'm jumping into the shade Create. So this shade is probably the shade that's going to peep the most through the entire eye look. So I really wanted it to be super blown out and I wanted to really pack on the color. So I'm buffing out the outer corner in a very circular motion because I really wanted the eye look to be very like halo but just a very circle i don't know because sometimes i blow it out too far um and then right after that i'm going to be taking my tart shape tape concealer and i'm going to be taking a morphe m421 just to cut out my crease so i'm placing the concealer looking up and just going along the guidelines that i gave myself and then just going to take a fluffy brush to flatten out the concealer and make sure that it's completely dry for the next shade so for the lid, I am taking the shade Spark and I'm applying that with a flat shade brush. Beautiful copper, like tangerine shade. Beautiful, beautiful. Loved this color so much. And then I'm going to be jumping into the shade Passion with a really, really defined brush just to really define the part where I cut the crease. This is a darker shade, so it's going to create a very dark shadow on a gradient. I really loved it. And then I'm taking it um, on a fluffy brush and really smoking that out on the outer corner. And then I'm jumping into the shade Forever and I'm really really going to define that crease one more time and i'm going to go ahead and smoke out the outer corner with that same dark purple shade just to create a lot of dimension in the eye i really loved these colors together and now i'm just going to wipe off the excess and coat my top lashes with some mascara and i'll be popping on the makeup shack lashes in the style dubai off camera <laughs> So to start off on complexion, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Primerizer. I mentioned this in my 2017 beauty favorites. I'm obsessed with this primer right now. It's amazing. If you haven't seen the video, I will link it down below. And now I'm going to be taking the Mara Badescu Rose Water, just spritzing that everywhere for some extra hydration and buffing that in with a tart foundation brush and then to cover up my pores we'll fill in my pores and get a smooth canvas taking the clean slate primer from tarte and for foundation i'm going to be taking the makeup forever hd stick foundation definitely an oldie but a goodie and i'll be buffing that out with a tarte foundation brush And for concealer, taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral, I finally found a shade that highlights me the way that I like to be highlighted. I had a tough time finding a good shade with this concealer, but I love it. So just buffing that out with my Damped Beauty Blender. So taking the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette and I am just buffing that all around the areas where I normally contour, my forehead, the sides of my cheeks, down my temples. And I'm buffing that out with a Morphe G40 brush. Love, love, love this brush. I've mentioned it like a million times every time I do this step, but it's really such a good brush for this specific step i am taking now the wet and wild contour palette the yellow shade and i've been obsessed with it even though it fell today and it broke so i'm gonna go have to buy a new one and then i'm just gonna set the 
entire face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Light 20 Medium. This has been my jam. For contour, I'm going to be taking the Glamour Dolls times Lisa Frank Bitten in Bronze Bronzer, another one of my jams. Obsessed with this shade and the brush that I'm using in this video too. This is the Powder Brush by Equal Tools. Amazing for bronzer and blush. Absolutely love it. And here I am just taking blush, which I normally do not do, but I've really been into this blush. This is the Toasted Cinnamon Blush by Burt's Bees. I got this because of Kathleen Lights. And here I'm just buffing out the excess. And now we're going to jump into the fun part. So this is the Lunatics Glitter in the shade Rosé. And I'm just getting regular lash glue and picking it up with a brush and just placing it. So placing lash glue, placing glitter, placing lash glue, placing glitter and then i take the midnight cowboy glitter towards the end and i just start pouring, putting sparkles all around the eye it's super simple here i forgot that i had forgotten to do my lower lash line so i'm just taking the same shades that i took in the top lash line and just smoking it out real quick and then i jump into the midnight cowboy glitter and i go ahead and add some glitter in the inner corner and i start adding some glitter in the outer corners and towards the bottom as well that's all i did for the eye I absolutely loved how it came out here taking the Fuego highlight by Desi and Katie highlighting my brow bone and I'm going to be taking a little bit more of that bronzer in the contour palette from Modern Wild because I felt a little pale after I added all the glitter I felt like I needed a little bit more dimension I'm not sure taking the Fuego highlight again and I'm going to be highlighting the tops of my cheekbones with that as well as the bridge of my nose and the sides of my forehead Now to set everything down, I'm using the Maro Badescu Rose Water. I absolutely love this one, this spray. I feel like I don't stop mentioning it. And I'm just taking a beauty blender now and just really pressing that um, setting spray into my skin. It really just melts everything together. Hell of a difference. And here just um, setting my brows with some Anastasia Clear brow gel and for lips i'm going to be taking the dose of colors mood liquid lipstick first and right over top i'm going to be taking the um stone liquid lipstick as well by dose of colors and i'm going to be just creating an ombre lip in the center and i'm going to be buffing out the rest with a lip brush yes a lip brush and after that this look is complete thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video bye Thank you.